Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 8th March, Mazgaon Dock Shipbuilders Limited had issued an expression of interest seeking response from global firms for collaborating in design, development and construction of extra large unmanned underwater vehicle called XL UUVs. If you try to understand XL UUVs in simple term, they are extra large UUVs. They are typically autonomous mini submarines that measures about 7 feet in diameter or maybe larger. They are designed for launch from shore or from large military ships with well decks or from large civil vessels with moon pools. In the unmanned naval vessels, there are mainly three types of vehicles as defined by US Navy which are large unmanned surface vehicles or LUSVs, medium unmanned surface vehicles or MUSVs and extra large unmanned undersea vehicle XL UUVs. LUSVs are 200 feet to 300 feet in length and has full load displacement of 1000 ton to 2000 ton which would make them the size of a corvette. MUSVs are 45 feet to 190 feet long with displacement of roughly 500 tons which would make them the size of a patrol craft. XL UUVs are UUVs with a diameter more than 84 inches meaning that XL UUVs are too large to be launched from a manned naval submarine. XL UUV plan to be developed by MDL is intended to meet the increasing demands of undersea operational awareness and payload delivery. Key attributes include extended vehicle range, autonomy and persistence. It will transit to an area of operation lotter with ability to periodically establish communications, deploy payloads, carry various pre-programmed missions and transit home. This long-range autonomous vehicle will perform a variety of missions for user enabled by a reconfigurable payload bay. The critical benefit of XL UUV is that Navy personnel launch, recover, operate and communicate with the vehicle from a home base and are never placed in the conflict zone. XL UUV will have an extensive internal and external payload volume and available energy capacity expanding the parameters of what is possible in current unmanned undersea systems. The vehicle's advanced autonomy will enable it to perform at sea for months at a time delivering a more affordable mission capable solution over traditional UUVs. The concept of XL UUV is however not new. Back in September 2017, the US Navy issued contract worth 40 million US dollar each to Boeing and Lockheed Martin to develop competing designs for an extra large unmanned undersea vehicle capable of autonomous operation on mission up to several months in duration. In February 2019, the Navy awarded Boeing and HII consortium a $43 million contract to begin work on building four of their XL UUVs and the design of which would be based on Boeing's earlier AUV Eco Voyager and the new XL UUV was called Orca. The following month, Navy added a fifth vehicle to the order. Orca deliveries are planned to be completed by end of this year. The Boeing Orca XL UUV follows model design and is a open architecture reconfigurable unmanned underwater vehicle with core vehicle providing guidance and control and navigation autonomy, situational awareness, core communication, power distribution, energy and power propulsion, and maneuvering and mission sensors. Boeing's Orca XL UUV design is based on Boeing's Eco Voyager UUV. Eco Voyager is roughly the size of a subway car. It is 51 feet long and has a rectangular cross section of 8.5 feet by 8.5 feet and weighs approximately 50 tons in air and has a range of up to 6,500 nautical miles. It can accommodate a modular payload section up to 34 feet in length, increasing its length to as much as 85 feet. A 34 feet modular payload section provides 
2000 cubic feet of internal payload volume a shorter 14 feet section provides about 900 cubic feet volume and the eco voyager can also accommodate external payloads the reason why we are discussing about the orca as this seems to be the most suitable candidate to collaborate with mdl for its xl uuv requirement navy already operates pti from boeing which will be force multiplier in interoperability and the boeing's orca is already being used by us navy and the system is a proven one this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector